Hello people. Uh, this week's Mac tip, I've got a piece of very good software to show you. And this is a, also a free one. Uh, I try and do free ones, obviously, so no one has to buy anything or download anything they don't want to, in case they don't like it. Well, this is really good. Uh, you can donate to the creator, which is good. So, like, he's not making you pay, but you can do uh, donate if you like it. So all you need to do is you need to go on Google and you just need to sh search shape collage and it will be the top one. It's Vincent Shang dot ca forward slash shape collage. So you just click on that and it's very easy. You just uh, download it. It's for Windows, Mac, Linux etc. It works with all systems, I've got it on here. So I'll load it up and show you. Oops, sorry. All, right. all this does is it allows you to add pictures to hit this and then you can create sizes, shapes, basically like a collage out of your pictures, hence the name. So I'll I'll go on here and I'll get some pictures up and so I'll just select all these pictures just to show you uh, how I do it. Right, so if I save them in there, as you can see it's got all the pictures, etc. And they're all there already, 86 photos as you can see. So uh, I'll just do a couple for you today. The shape and size, you can have uh, rectangles, heart or a circle. I'll show you a circle first. So I'll just click circle. You can have the appearance. I'll just keep it as that. I'd like it a bit bigger than that actually. Advanced. Uh, you can have a jagged uh, edge on the pictures which I don't like really. So shape and size, you can manual the photo size, manual, manual how many photos you can have and the space in between the photos. But I keep them as default. And then all you need to do is go over, you can preview it if you want, but this doesn't delete any pictures or anything, so I don't. And then all you do is click create, uh, where to save it, and you can also save it as a JPEG, a PNG, or a Photoshop document. I'll just keep it as a JPEG. Alright, so I'll just save it into my my user area and I'll just save it as uh, London. And you just click save and you can have the quality, I keep it as top nine, well 100% say. This stuff may take a little longer but it's really fast anyway so you won't see the difference. Just hit save. And this just like initializes it. As you can see, it looks very awesome because it's turned all the photos into a circle shape. And I'll show you another good one in a minute after this. It's turned all your photos into a shape like a collage. Do look really good. The creator of this is very good to be able to do this. And they do look awesome afterwards. So, as you can see there, I'll just uh, open it up for you. So this is the JPEG that it's created. As you can see, it's very good. It's got all my pictures from when I went to London. It's just like a fun take, really, on where you can do your pictures because you can't really do this with most video ed uh, photo editors. So I will create another one for you. I'll use the same pictures. And as you can see over here, instead of your custom shapes, rectangle, heart, circle, you can have text, so I'll just hit text there and I'll type in what I want to. Say I wanted uh, for for text though you normally have to have quite a few photos and I've got quite a few here because I've tried it out before. So I'll just go ahead and hit Y slash uh, space T for YouTube and then I'll click create and that's probably where you want to start manual in it to your spacing etc. If you want, you once you've if you download this, you'll you'll like playing along with it. Cause I've done in it. It's very easy to use etc. So, 
So let's hit create again. I'll save it as London 2 for us. Same place, same JPEG, etc. So I'll save, and as you can see, it's making a shape now. As you see there, it's got the Y for YouTube, and well, U and then T for tube. And that's where the, you don't need the space in as much, etc. You can have them closer. You can do any text really, as long as you've got the right amount of photos. So you've got a couple of hundred photos, you're probably able to do your name, or even less actually, but it's better to do it with a, a lot because it looks a lot nicer. And I'll just uh, blast this open for you. As you can see there, awesome, very good for the YouTube. And yeah, just play along with this, guys, if you download it, it's really good. And I use it all the time, it's good to like show people when they come around, stuff like that. So, yeah, that was a shape collage, guys. As you saw when I opened it, though, there's a new update out, so there might be new, some new features you have, still not yet to download that. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you like this tip. Like I say always, if there's any tips you want me to do, just let me know. Alright then, guys, see you next time.